you probably find out that I'm a very solid player in general. Uh, I've been trying different approaches, uh, like defending more, defending less from the blinds, and calling more, calling less from the button. Uh, I had like this uh, kings with ace and three. Uh, I think it's a hand that can go both ways against a, a raise on the cutoff. Uh, some people will argue that it's a mandatory 3-bet because of its raw strength. But I think that, uh, especially in Pot Limit Omaha, uh, raw strength is not everything because uh, no hand is strong enough to to be mandatory to extract a lot of value preflop. There are circumstances with, with the hand are good to call or good to 3-bet. And I, and I base my decision a lot on the stack to pot ratio. I I imagine if I call or if I three bet how much the pot is going to be. Uh, in this case, if I three bet like to forty, the pot is going to be I don't know for like maybe forty eight or something like that. Uh, the if he calls, the pot will be one hundred. I'll be three to three point five x behind, which is a fine stack to to get it in with a, with an over pair and an over card. And maybe some some other, some more equity. If I if if the, if I had a stack like six hundred dollars, then I would uh, think the call was better, just because I don't want to 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 three bet and be with a five times spot behind. I think five times spot is a very bad stack spot duration to have uh, an over pair, uh, because I I don't want to to get it in with a naked over pair uh, ever with uh, five times the spot. But uh, uh, with the four hundred dollars and an expected three point five x stack pot raise if I three bet, I think it's acceptable to to get it in on most flops if there are not uh, three connected cards or something like that. So, so I think three bet is acceptable. But I think calling is also acceptable because if I flop top set or or not or not flush draw, I'll be okay to get it in. Um, for like, I don't know, 10 times the pots if I have a nut plus draw and an over pair on most flops I wouldn't mind that so I decided to just call, I think I think I hand like these flops very strongly on single raised pots, obviously on single raised pots uh, the over pair is worthless so I'm looking to to flop better than that Plus, if I got squeezed by the blinds, uh, I could probably get it in, just because I think I can crush uh, a blind squeeze range. When I get checked into a just bet, I think that uh, betting blindly here with any two cards is probably profitable. Um, pair of the boards, three-way, are interesting, because uh, even uh, when you don't have the trips, it's more likely that the other players don't have it than that they have it. So it's it's probably profitable to bluff a lot on these boards um, because because it is three way. People respect and accept that someone is very likely to have trips. Although the odds are, it's more likely that someone doesn't have trips and they have. Uh, with four way or more, I think it becomes more likely that uh, someone has trips. So I would say that four way, um, I would never bluff paired boards, but but three way, I would bluff uh, a reasonable amount. And because it is three way, the bluff works a lot, a lot more than heads up, for example. And the other thing is, uh, well, if I, I, I have kings, so if uh, if I have the best hand on the flop, I'd like to protect it against a lot of things, like flush draws, good shots, and people are likely to, to check full flush draws on a pair of course. This hand I'm probably going to open. I'll open almost uh, any double suited hand on the cutoff. Unless I have a pair of deuces or something like that. Um, 